Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. The City Council has announced it favors a multi-use community park for the property currently used as Fred Richards Executive Golf Course. In order to turn around municipal golf operations, the City Council in March accepted a recommendation to close the course on Park Lawn Avenue at the end of the 2014 season. The City then began a public input process to develop a plan for the future use of the 42 acres of parkland. One of the early ideas presented by a group of residents was a community-centric equine park that includes a therapeutic riding center, a youth program, and other equine-related activities and events. While it is still early in the visioning process, the Council voted earlier this month against any equine use at the site as it would limit use of the space for the majority of residents. Uh, let's take our time. Uh, not very many cities have the luxury of figuring out what to do with a 42-acre piece of parkland. And Edina has always done things that are visionary, cutting edge, and I think we want to look uh, around the planet and see what other countries are doing, what other cities are doing. Another open house on the project will be held July 30th. The park design will undergo a review process with the park board and ultimately seek final approval from the city council as early as October. Pamela Park will receive a makeover which is slated to begin later this summer. On July 1st, the council approved a design and awarded bids for construction of a shelter at Pamela Park. It includes LED lights, a high-efficiency HVAC system, full sprinkler system, and commercial-grade fixtures and finishes selected for ease of maintenance and durability. The shed roof of the building will allow plenty of daylight in the great room with added clerestory windows, significantly reducing the hours the lights will need to be on. We were probably given a little bit more freedom on, on this one. Um, obviously, it has to function well. Uh, there, there's uh, skating and kind of play field on one side and the, the baseball, softball fields on the other side. So you have to have good observation of those areas. Um, you have to be able to secure the building. That an, was another important feature of all the, the park shelters. So uh, I, I think it just, we're very happy with at least how the design turned out and we anticipate being happy with it, the final product once it's built. The shelter and all of the improvements at Pamela Park are estimated to cost about $3.3 million. As the Edina Promenade continues to grow, so do community interactions taking place along the path. A local woman started what has now become known as the Wishing Trees. Edina 16's Dietrich Nissen spoke with her and has more on this story. If you stop to take a look at these trees, you'll find all kinds of wishes. Some are lighthearted. My baby and wife to be happy and $50 million to help me out. I hope to become an engineer and a princess. While others may tug at your heart. I wish that they will find medicine soon for cancer. For my stepmom. For Nikki Kraminga Hill and her group, the Spread Sunshine Gang, these wishes are part of their monthly mission to spread happiness. It's fun, it's colorful, and everybody has a wish or several wishes, and it's just easy. You just write your wish down and then you tie it on the tree, and it's fun to see what happens. Kraminga Hill got this idea from another local group called the Hokey Pokey Project. In 2009, they had a wishing tree at Lake Harriet, and I read about it in the newspaper and thought, that is a fantastic idea. Why don't we make one? That's when she reached out to the city of Edina and Centennial Lakes manager Tom Shirley. Well, people have really liked it. They, they're they very curious on it, so you'll see people all the time walk up to the tree, read the different wishes, kind of smile, and even create some of their own wishes to put on there. So it's been a lot of fun. I, I had a family come up the other day, three to five kids. Will you help me tie my wish on the tree? And that was so fun. They said that they had been there about three or four times already. So this is a place that families are now starting to stop on their trip around Centennial Lakes. And with more than two trees full of wishes, Kraminga Hill says she expects all six of these trees to be filled with colorful tags by the end of August. But every time I come here, I'm, I'm surprised and I'm delighted at, at how wonderful it's turned out. And I hope that we could do this all summer. At Centennial Lakes in Edina, Dietrich Nissen, Edina 16.
Herminga Hill says when it rains, the group tries to take down and save as many tags as they can. You can find out more about the Wishing Tree by searching for the Spread Sunshine Gang on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.